Hello everyone. Welcome to DrupalCon Portland 2024. My name is Karthik Shukla. I work as a senior project manager at Excellent. Uh, so in today's webinar, uh, we are going to talk about revamping and uh, migration of a web portal of IDMC. IDMC basically is a part of Norwegian Refugee Council. Uh, IDMC is the world's leading source of data and analysis on internal displacement. Um, so along with me uh, in today's webinar, I'm, I'm going to invite Bram, uh, who is a part of IDMC, who works as a digital content specialist, and Anam from Excellent, who played a role of business analyst. So welcome, Bram and Anam. Thank you very much, Kartik. Thank you, Kartik. Okay, so to get started, uh, uh, we'll, we'll start with about IDMC, and uh, we have Bram with us, uh, who is the best person to explain us about IDMC. Well, I won't, I won't be too, too broad on it, but IDMC's uh, mandate is to monitor internal displacements around the world. Uh, we track uh, internal displacements on two metrics, so conflicts and disasters. Um, we also do very uh, pointed research on internal displacements, so go in specific countries and, and uh, uh, produce data on, on those countries. And then we produce uh, content. So every year, um, uh, we have a report, the global report on internal displacement that comes out in May. It's our flagship report, and this is what we do. gives us a, a snapshot of last year's internal displacement um, information. Uh, we track all historical information as well, um, and all that can be found on our website. So we have a database. Uh, which is hosted on the Global Internal Displacement Database, which we call the Git. We have updates on displacements, which we show in the IDU. We have publications that we uh, uh, publish throughout the year. We have um, blogs, events. We cover the whole gamut. We're really the specialists on internal displacements, but mainly in a in a in a data and research uh, capacity. A um, little bit about Excellent. So yeah, uh, as you can see, if, if you are a digital change maker, uh, obviously we are, to, we are your team. So Excellent help digital change maker make change. Uh, our customers includes digital agencies, enterprises, organization in different shapes and size. Uh, our integrated service includes Drupal, Equia, DevOps, front-end quality engineering and consulting. Um, being a part of Excellent, I, uh, uh, Excellent is basically a value-driven organization. Uh, we live by our values. So enthusiasm, kindness, and openness are three of our core values. Uh, so yeah, uh, the engagement that we get or we, the collaboration that we that happens, we always make sure that we live by our values. So that's a little bit about us. Going ahead, uh, so a little bit about IDMC's web presence in 2023, where uh, I would love uh, Anam to give a little bit of uh, background of what she, she felt uh, when you first saw the website or she first got introduced to IDMC of what their web presence was. Uh, so yeah, over to you, Anam. So when we started the discovery part for the IDMC, so when we were looking for the problem solution, the statements was like, um, it to start with the search. So when a user is going to a website and they would like to get a content refined in a search, there was a problem with the IDMC, which the search was not getting a refined way, where the users were ending up and going for a Google search and landing on the pages on the IDMC site. So that was the one of the area which the IDMC would like to improvise to have a refined search so that user will have a better experience. That was the first problem statement. And I won't say it is a problem statement, but that was the one of the scope improvement IDM IDMC would like to improve it. And the second one was like the navigation difficulties on the mega menus. So to go to a particular page from the headers and from the navigations, uh, so IDMC would like to have a stabilized mega menu concept. So that was the one thing which IDMC was facing an issue with. And the next one is something like uh, when they wanted to reuse the content. So when it comes to a CMS concept, always the client looks for the reuse content architecture where they can reuse it easily and flexibility, where there was having some hurdles to do that. So that was the one CMS issue which the IDMC was pointing it out. Then the responsive for the effective user experience for few pages and editing and Drupal content on the migration part on the backend. So when editor wants to edit on any of the content, there was some 
logical issues on the content that was the one of the issues which IDM, IDMC would like to sort it out apart from that always it's like a legacy code whatever for a historical project always it's there so that's the one part they would like to highlight and get it sorted out and uh, one more thing is they would like to have is like uh, the reusing of the editing content which is like an editor can be used multiple paragraphs or the pages can be used in a different way throughout the site for the longer term that's the one solution they were looking for so if i go to the next one this is how the idmc were looking on 2023 before excellent revamps so if you look into this one the first one was where bram was talking about the publication pages so this is the report how it was looks like and the second one as the second one on the top right is the search page so there is a one search content that is the one search page which was on 2023 earlier and the below ones are the home page which is like they have the displacement data what Bram was talking about the reports so this is all about the background I would say before they wanted to revamp the site so this is how they have sorted out these are the issues which they would like to work on this is all about these pretty kind of slides now I would like to take you a little bit background how excellent approach on this one so the first one I would say like relaunch the site that was the one thing revamping the entire site for the IDMC so plan to relaunch the site utilizing a robust tech stack so they would like to go for a decoupled approach and they were looking for something like a robust tech stack which is compromising Drupal and Gatsby and which is aiming to elevate user experience significantly so furthermore uh, the objective is to unify the website branding according to IDMC branding guidelines and also ensure a cohesive, recognizable identity across all the pages. So this strategic decision aims not to just refresh the look of the entire site, but also to enhance the overall functionality and performance of the uniform platform. That's the first point. And the second point, if we look into is enhanced user experience. So IDMC primary focus to elevate the user experience and also to the new heights. So from seamless navigation to intuitive design elements, every aspect of the website will be carefully crafted to ensure that the visitors have a delightful and memorable experience, I would say. The third point would be like a unified branding, uh, which is really crucial for IDMC to present a cohesive and consistent brand images. And one more point I would like to highlight here is like they are part of the uh, NRC, which is like uh, North Wayne Councils. So they would like to have a digital touch points as well. So by adhering to the IDMC branding guidelines, we have to create a unified visual identity that resonates their audience and also strengthens their brand presence. Improved content search. So as we explained earlier, so finding the relevant information should be effortless for the IDMC users. So through enhancements to their content search system, empowering visitors to quickly locate the content they are looking for though by enhancing engagement and satisfaction the next one is efficient management with a multi-level approach to admin and content management so they would like to streamline internal process to ensure smooth operations this will not only boost productivity but also enable them to deliver update and maintain content integrity the final one one more two points is like uh, website performance optimizations so a fast and responsive website is essential in today's digital landscape as we know so we are committed to optimizing the website performance to deliver high lightning fast loading times and seamless browsing experience across all the devices the content and data migrations so here we have done a drupal 9 to 10 migration that was the expectations so that is the one thing so transition to a new platform involves the migrating existing content and data seamlessly so our medical approach ensures that no information is being lost for that and also the transition as smooth as possible in a viable solutions security and durability so when it comes to security and durability something like drupal uh, security updates that is the one thing we have to consider finalize google analytics one which is like mandatory for most of the websites i would say like to capture the content and also the user views so that's the one thing we incorporated it so that's all about all about the backgrounds and now we have to uh, move to the challenges so for this um i would like to hand it over to karthik for more insights thank you I, I'll, I'll not say that okay the journey has been uh, uh full of roses here we we came with uh, certain challenges where uh 
we had get into an architecture level discussion that okay is is this something that can be achieved or uh, we face certain blockers so yeah the first challenge that i uh, would like to call about is is uh, the combination here drupal gets p is a great combination where you get uh, many things out of it but yeah the journey uh, was a bit challenging one uh, the second was the implementation of search in gatsby so uh like uh, anam called out or like brahm called out okay that this is what a problem statement in front of us we want to have a very unified search where a user can easily find the data points because idmc itself is the it's a leading source of data so it it should become very easy for a user to find the data within the website instead of going and having a uh uh google search and things like that so search implementation was one of the other challenge which we came across um then comes the navigation and the third party integrations mega menu yes played a very crucial role because we knew from day one that the navigation menu is going to play a very crucial role because that's the touch point where a user is going to explore the entire website so building a men mega menu which was going to solve the problems was uh, a biggest blocker in front of us uh, uh, but yeah that was a challenge third party integrations there are many uh maps integration there were graphs and things like that a third and third party the data the database that brum called out in, in initial discussions that's where something that uh, had its own integration so that was another challenge but last but not the least hosting yes hosting is very crucial thing when you when you go for a decoupled approach uh, we explored different areas of what could be a best possible solution here and uh, we tried different permutation combinations uh, we I know I uh, and uh, uh, Brum can add a little bit to it, but yeah, we knew that okay, the picking up the right hosting is going to be very uh, crucial point here. If we if we don't make a right choice there, then it's going to be difficult, and that's where we decided to go with platform platform dot sh and Netlify. I would like to request Brum to talk a little bit about key features, and maybe he can he can showcase. uh the website that has been developed maybe you can give a short demo to us of what the key features and uh what idmc thinks about it how it has been useful to them uh over to you bram so maybe just taking the audience back a little bit um this is our current site so our previous site uh we had a very standard menu which uh allowed us one column of information uh, uh under every sort of heading and for us that became a well that was sufficient at a time but became a problem as we started to grow so different products different ideas where were they housed and then as we started to grow we started to offer uh new services new departments and the way we were limited by the technology it was no longer legible so one of the first things we wanted to opt for in our sort of modernization and relaunch of the website was to have a mega menu um which allows us to categorize our information so in this case for example um in this mega menu we have let's say i'm going to just say three elements so we have a teaser here where we can start promoting different products and this allows us really to showcase certain things that we want our audience to pay attention to as they navigate through the website and then uh the second thing is um in the 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 ability to sort of categorize our information so we don't just have one report we have several reports and sorry i'm just jumping to the middle for the sake of time but within that section there are different themes and uh, we needed to build that clarity cuz as anam was explaining um it wasn't just searching the website but it was navigating the website which was an issue so we'd produce a new product which we need to be, we needed to promote and uh, we'd be promoting it on social media and uh promoting it um on the website for when it's uh current but as soon as it's no longer current it sort of disappear in our navigation and people had to dig in several layers deep and they couldn't use the search function to find it now with this structure our audience can one better understand what we do and better understand where to find their information so there's that we also added this uh sub nav at the top for the more uh frequent uh sort of aspects that some of our users might pay attention to and things we want to promote in particular very uh specific i'm going to point this one out but 
This is one that threw me off. It's the contact feature. Uh, in our, our surveys internally, we realized that being able to uh, allow our audience to get in contact with us directly was a huge requirement. And um, this is something we added in the subnav, then press came up, news, etc. But having this option uh, because of the different uh, screen sizes to not put it in our main elements because the the reason why we didn't want to put it in our mail on elements is is there's just so much information like you, you go into our, our our mega menu and it, you can very quickly get overwhelmed and and we're, so the website is relatively new so we haven't actually put everything up and organized everything but we wanted to be make things a lot more legible for an, our audience so that was the first accomplishment I think that we we uh, we carried uh, over. Then the next thing, sorry, uh, go back, scroll back to the top of the page, was our search function. So this was at first um, uh, I didn't realize to what extent this was a pain point uh, until we actually accomplished it. And I say I didn't realize this is because this was a pain point for quite a while. Um, and, uh, we had grown so accustomed, no joke to going to Google to find content on our website. Our, our colleagues would navigate Google to find information and, uh, we sort of lost touch with it. Um, and when we had this opportunity with Accelerate to re rebuild, uh, the search, um, and we, we use this decoupled approach, we suddenly saw all our content, we offered people the option to either use a keyword or to use drop downs to filter through the content. Interestingly enough, um, this became one of our most visited sections on the website. I think it ranks fourth right now on Google Analytics. So it was somewhere in the bottom and it skyrocketed back to the top. And this is one of the things where I get a lot of anecdotal evidence from um, my, my, my colleagues which are saying they're using it every day. It's influencing how we navigate the website. It's also influencing how we're thinking about content in the future because there's all this legacy content that uh, was, uh, was <laughs> well, to be very honest, a pain to migrate because it had migrated several times before. And now we're, we're make it more uni making it more uniform, but we're also reviving things that have a long tail and uh, and that is informing our strategy for the future. Um, now I, I won't dive into it, but, uh, feel free to explore cause it's also extremely efficient and fast. So like, maybe I'll just demonstrate it, but right away as, um, we start filtering down, uh, certain things appear very quickly, um, as you can see, and it resets really easily. And, uh, let's see, it's hyper fast, which makes it a really enjoyable experience for our users. Um, continuing on just maybe just one detail, um, that seems again, probably basic to everybody who's got their websites together and functioning perfectly, but we were really struggling with this for quite a while is that we have all these various products and emit, uh, one of the things we had to overcome is the discipline of sticking to the track we uh, we laid down and not come up with new ideas and new products and have sort of that shiny uh, shiny new uh, product syndrome. But I'm showing you one of our main products, which are publications. So as I mentioned earlier, we have what is called the Grid Report, the Global Report on Internal Displacement. This is our flagship report. This is where we get the most media attention and the the biggest spike uh, in our analytics uh, throughout the year. And it comes off first as a simple product. You're like, oh, well, what's the big deal? You got a PDF, okay, who cares? Well, actually it's a bit more complicated. It's a PDF uh, and one of our main KPIs is downloads. That's a donor deliverable. We need to show our donors uh, what we're doing with, with our donations and we're trying to incite people to download the report. There's also other products related to this report. So uh, just to expand, we have uh, a custom landing page, which we build every year for this report. But 
in this as well, we have translations. So uh, just to, on this right hand side under related links, we have the option to download the report in French, Spanish, and Arabic. We also have a requirement for, uh, we get a lot of media attention at that point and we, because it happens so fast, we need, for example, the media to get the information as quickly as possible. So it needs to be legible. Before it was hidden in the body and it was at the bottom and you had to read a whole bunch of text. Now you have a list of related links. And uh, there you can quickly find the press release, which uh, one of our target audience is the media. So this is very effective in getting them what we, uh, getting them what they want and, and uh, not frustrating them because that's one of those things is if the more friction there is, the more difficulty it is for uh, to get sort of your audience to, to work with you. Um, and then there's another element, which is the event page. So one of the issues we had previously is all these things, this, this page previously was disparate. Uh, so it's still separate pages, but none of it was joining together on one page for our users to understand how this is all related to that product. And this is something we're continually doing throughout the website. We're, we're trying to make sure that, uh, well, it's a bit outdated term now that with Google Analytics 4, but we're trying to reduce the bounce rate, the amount of people leaving our page because of frustrations. And we're trying to lead them as quickly as possible with a minimum friction to the information they're interested in. Um, yeah, and I think uh, I think the rest is pretty standard. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to that. Uh, Unless, Kartik, you want me to go into something in particular. Uh, I would just like to understand from you, Brahm, uh, after after the launch that has happened, uh, what results or what impacts that you have seen, uh, uh, either from the user point of view or maybe from the internal IDMC stakeholders, uh, uh, what stood out, what are, the, what, what, what are the results that you got after this revamp? Just off the bat, uh, internally, there is a huge sense of relief that we're now up to standard in terms of our branding. I, it's, it sounds it sounds a bit, it, it's a bit peculiar, but the branding had a huge factor that one of the things we had before is we had this sort of Frankenstein website and uh, each section or page looks uh, very much like uh, when it was developed. So um, one of the things we're which we did in this relaunch is harmonizing that. So across the different pages and products, now we're really using our brand guidelines. So our pages look like our reports and it fits, uh, we're matching the colors and we're looking modern. We're not looking like uh, a website from a decade ago. Um, from a technical standpoint, one of the things as well is just the legibility of who we are and what we do. So as, as, as peculiar as it sounds, but the, the menu helps, of course, reduce friction and getting people where they need to go. But it also is the first impression we make. And so people are able to find the information across the website. And it's from our internal, uh, it's it's freed up sort of mental space to strategize and to start building and not be stuck in, well, maybe we should move this product here from here to there. We're actually... Now we have the freedom, it fits where it is, and we can work on that. And um, then the other thing is we are seeing uh, an increased use in certain products. So we're starting to trust our metrics a lot more. So one of the problems before was the user journeys were so convoluted that we couldn't really look at our metrics. We were just like, oh, okay, yeah, but that there were exceptions to everything we looked at. And now our metrics are starting to look, to look a lot more a little more um, consistent. And like I was saying, one of the things that stood out uh, was the, um, the 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 search function. That was far and beyond. Like it, it, it jumped up in the ranking. We were just like, oh, okay. Um, and we can also see this, this traffic has increased. We can see that people are engaging more with the website. So Previously, our website, we had this sort of hero section with a slider, and fair enough, we could update it. But we all know sliders have a, a limited engagement. And now, um, throughout the website, it's sort of this, this in, instead of having this sort of uh, showcasing 
uh, of outdated information. And we even had our Twitter feed on our homepage, which was, uh, as ev everybody knows, with recent Twitter, well, it's formerly Twitter uh, developments, that's maybe not the best thing to have on your, your homepage anymore. Um, but we've updated and refreshed our website and people are able to understand as well uh, what we do and jump from the homepage to very specific points uh, with fewer clicks and less friction. Um, sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought, but I, I, I think across the board, that's where we are. We're very sort of fresh, uh, because it's, it's been maybe, uh, nearly a couple of months we're getting in terms of the relaunch and we're, we're, we're so excited that we're moving into the next developments. So we have our, our report launch coming up. So there's still some, uh, discoveries to be made about what the benefits have been of this relaunch. Oh, actually, sorry. I say that there's one, sorry, I, I can't believe I, I forgot this responsiveness. <laughs> so as, as, as basic again, as this, this sounds, because we had this Frankenstein build over time, um, not everything was responsive and it's, it's not just, uh, the, the pages, but it's the elements in the pages and, and even on the back end, how we implemented some of those elements. We built things that just weren't made for mobile screens. And it's, it's a, we have a very professional audience. Uh, so I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, our, our, uh, our mobile engagement hovers around the 20%, but that is something that we know is, um, it's, it's going to increase, especially as we improve the website. And it's also a requirement because it's one of those things where, uh, as we go further out into, uh, like, um, a, a particular audience we have is people who work in the field. So, uh, in places with maybe not the best connectivity and who just have their mobile phones, we want them to be able to access our information and also access our information without suddenly having to pay all kinds of data fees. So that has been improved considerably with this relaunch. Uh, that, uh, it's quite impressive and, and quite quite happy that okay this is something that you got as a result. Uh, but thank you so much, Bram, for uh, being a part of this uh, webinar, uh, sharing the journey that we had together. Uh, and, and and it has been a roller coaster ride. Uh, but yeah, uh, together we overcome this. I I know that and yeah uh, the the approach, the architecture that we took. Uh, I'm uh, definitely it's it's going to be a, a helpful a study uh, for, for reference in future where we want to have a combination uh, plus targeting a specific NGO domain here where it's a combination of Drupal plus Gatsby. So yeah, thank you so much and, uh, and uh, a big sh sh shout out to the entire IDMC team for uh, all your all your support throughout this journey. Uh, I know uh, when you need to rethink on, on this kind of rebrandings and uh, making sure that we address the problem statement that uh, we have in front of us, uh, I, I completely understand uh, uh, what has been before we started this implementation. But yeah, I would like to thank you and the entire NDMC team um, for your support. And uh, and we are quite happy that you were able to deliver what we thought of uh, before we started this journey. And yeah, uh, I would also like to thank the entire audience who is watching us. Uh, uh, and yeah, thank you so much DrupalCon Portland for giving us this opportunity. Uh, if you are visiting DrupalCon Portland, do visit our booth. And in case if you are going to view this video later on, uh, don't forget to visit uh, excellent.com. Thank you so much and uh, have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone.